today I'm going to show you how to make another granola. This one's called a golden keto granola. Um, it's really tasty and really easy to make, so I hope you give it a try. Okay, so we're going to need about a quarter cup of unsalted butter. That'd be about half a stick if you're in the States, or 56 grams. Then you're going to need one quarter cup of a sweetener, a sugar substitute, and I like to use a brown sugar substitute. That's a golden monk fruit sweetener, uh, but whatever you've got is just fine. Then we'll need a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. You could also use a salted caramel or some other flavor if you prefer, or even a bit of both. Next, we're gonna need one cup of raw almonds or pecans you could use, and another cup of hazelnuts or pistachios. I've got some almonds and hazelnuts today, and we're gonna rough chop those. One cup of unsweetened coconut flakes or shreds, a half cup of pumpkin seeds, also sometimes called pepitas, and then a quarter cup of hemp hearts, or you could use held sunflower seeds if you prefer. You're also gonna need a small saucepan and a large rimmed baking sheet that you'll line with parchment paper or you could use a silicone baking mat if you have one. I've also preheated my oven. You'll want it at 275 Fahrenheit or 135 Celsius, so it's a low heat. So I've got a small saucepan on medium heat. So I'll go ahead and put the butter in there and let that start melting. So while that's melting, I'm gonna go ahead and add the sweetener, the cinnamon, and the vanilla. And if you're using another flavoring, you can add that now too. Now you're just gonna wanna stir that occasionally until it's all melted together and the sugar's dissolved or the sweetener's dissolved. So while I'm waiting, I'm just gonna rough chop these. I've got, as I said, uh, my almonds and my hazelnuts. You, you don't have to go too small. You just don't want big pieces. So just really roughly go through and chop both of them. So it's looking really good. It's starting to bubble and I don't want it to boil, so I'm just gonna pull that off. It's dissolved, I think, as well as it's going to be. We'll set that aside. So now in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna combine the chopped nuts. To that, we'll add the coconut flakes. The pumpkin seeds. And the hemp hearts, or sunflower seeds, if that's what you're choosing to use. Just mix those together first. And now we'll take our melted butter and sweetener mixture and just pour that over. Find a rubber spatula is very helpful to help get it all out. And also for mixing it through. So just with your same rubber spatula, just toss that through really well. Get everything coated. helpful just to really make sure everything was coated to use both the spoon and this and just really stir it together. Just want them really thoroughly mixed. Okay, so now we're going to take our prepared sheet pan here and just pour the mixture out onto the pan. Make sure you get all that good stuff. And just spread this out evenly. I'm just trying to get it sort of level so you don't have high spots and low spots as much as possible anyway. And then I'm going to want to make a little bit of air pockets where I can just to help the hot air get in there and crisp up as much as possible. Remember we are going to stir it every about 15 minutes or so and that'll help as well. Once I've got it spread out, I just like to kind of come in and push little holes here and there just to help the air get down in there. Now we're going to pop that in our preheated oven, like I said, for about an hour, coming back to stir it every 15 minutes. So it's been 15 minutes. I'm just going to pull that out and give it a good stir. Just sort of move everything around, and then we'll spread it back out again. Few air pockets here and there if you like, like we did before. 
pop it back in for another 15 minutes. So we're just going to do that a few more times then until our hour is up. All right, that's been an hour and it's supposed to be a nice dark golden brown by now, which appears to be to me that looks really good. Okay, so I'm just going to look for any areas that don't have quite enough like little air pockets. I just want to make sure that they can cool. And then I'm just going to let this sit on the pan for at least an hour. At least. We just want to give it a chance to harden and form clumps like granola. So I just want to have a lot of little air pockets in there so it can do that easier. And that's it. We'll come back in about an hour and check on it. it. Looks delicious and it smells delicious. So this has been an hour and I've just decided to come up and start sort of pulling at the edges of it a bit to see if it'll break off in chunks. And it does for the most part, good sized pieces. It is still a bit moist. Um, so I'm probably going to leave it sit out just a little bit longer, but I just wanted to show you. You do get nice chunks out of it. And I'll serve a little bit up to show you a nice way to use it. Wow, we're really enjoying this. i got to tell you, this is very, very tasty. You get the, the flavors of everything that I've, get, I've got in there. It has that brown sugar undertone, um, but you also the vanilla and the caramel flavoring that I put in. Everything is really nice, very tasty. You could have it for breakfast uh, with milk. I've just served it up today with some yogurt, and I'll break up the clumps a little bit because... They are still holding up together pretty well. I hope you really like this as much as we do.